Jokes. Off we go again. We have just been to the co-op. Um, there is a second shop in the village in in Bishop, but it's smaller even again than uh, in that sort of big shop either. Uh, Cotgrave is the nearest large village and then uh, is it um, you got the, the village next to Morrison's at Gamston as well that's, uh, that's a pretty big village but uh, yeah so I'm walking back with supplies across the road and uh, what I'm hoping for is this uh, between now and Friday the website I built is live so I can share it with different uh, social media platforms. The website is linked to a crypto asset that can be found on the Waves Exchange. Now, it's a lower case for the Waves Exchange with a dot in the middle. And it should come straight up on uh, a Google search. And that's where I build on. So, I'll explain more about that shortly. But, um, not sure what the wind's going to be like. Once I get out of this village, because on the way here, wow, it was blowing everywhere. And I don't know if you could hear properly what I was saying. Because, you know, it's, you've got to be able to hear what the person is saying in videos. Ah, oh, man. That keeps catching the back of me uh, knee. But uh, yeah, very windy day here. And uh, the reason why I've done these things on the Waves Exchange is one, to be verified by the community, and two, is to. Uh, sell enough tokens so that I can get land and then put an application in once the land is secured for planning give them what I intend to do with that land etc vehicles uh, different uh, things like materials to build etc and of course the most important bit is once it's all sorted is to uh, get in touch with the likes of LinkedIn for management posts and all associated posts now you see, I'm going to show you something. I'm not advertising the company, but you see these, you see the flags, the hikers. Yeah? Well, the hikers there. That's what I'm talking about. These uh, turbines. You can't put them high enough, but I think if they're higher, they become an eyesore. Just like those gigantic ones, which most people see. But uh, that's to give you just a rough idea of uh, how high 
right there must be and what it is is to catch the wind at lower levels not like 150 foot up because I, I think if I went to put them in there would be objections within Rushcliffe and I don't want that whereas the smaller vertical wood turbines the top half of them could be painted in like uh, light blue so on days like the day where the sun is shining they would basically vanish they'd still spin that's one of the reasons why this morning and last night I did those two videos to uh, explain the fact that because uh, it's such a windy place same as Northumberland that's very windy as well and that's one of the places where I want to be able to uh, build possibly the windy part and one of my eyebrow hairs is rather annoying I'll flip that up All right change hands as well and then we continue and one thing I'm also going to do I did this for a idea. I wrote off to London. I got the receipt back from London. The only problem was because there was so much going on and uh, I couldn't do the funding part. London dissolved it. Well, you can't dissolve a bloody idea. Once the idea is wrote down, time and dated, then you move forward to the next stage. And as I say, the next stage is funding. And with an ICO, initial coin offering, it goes in waves which is like uh, funding rounds so as each funding round is complete whatever you have you put that into like say land property that sort of thing so you got solid asset behind you and then you start your next funding round, etc. Until you reach a magic milestone. And that is what I explained to you this morning in the video. Where on a night time, day like the day, but at night, you would see the vertical wind turbine operating spinning like crazy while it generates energy yep yeah, that's that's a little bit more flipping on now probably off one thing I would like to see is these cameras which are in villages where it tells you to slow down I'd like to see them with the ANPR system built in because 
on this walk, as people are coming along this road here, they're doing quite excessive speed. And they tend to forget when they go over the brow of the hill, where it says 30. Some are doing like 38, and it flashes up, slow down, but they don't. They just carry on. But, uh, yeah, the, the wind seems to have calmed down a quite a bit. And I showed you this the other day. The, uh, the far field over there. And there's one just there. And beyond it. And, um, pop my glasses up. Yes, I think. The, the asset is on Waves Exchange, but it's got to be verified. Once it is verified, today I'm hoping to work on the logo. Uh, I mean, I've been told I can get help working on the logo, but uh, that help, you know, um, I'll give you for instance um, my new Castle United shirt with the the number four on the front from previous season. Well, I changed that, and uh, I changed it for a reason. The number four looked hideous. Since then. Down there. Because, uh, in the other video, I did get around with it. Yeah. Like I say, that field there is pretty big. There's another field beyond that tree, and another one beyond that hedge. It can all be utilised. So he's just sitting there. And if it was utilised, the Chancellor would be getting tax. You see, the thing is, right, um, the, the, the things which I have constructed on uh, the Waves Exchange, when you create them, they send back a tax ID and that's important because that means you're paying tax once it starts to sell so that gives you a rough idea afternoon somebody listening on the headphones yeah I'm just coming up to 15 minutes Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Much appreciated. I'll upload this, which will take about an hour and 20 minutes. The reason why it takes an hour and 20 minutes the fastest broadband I can get is 35 megabytes and that is crap right so I'm just coming up to 15 minutes right thank you all